Okay. I pondered whether or not I should be doing this video, but I want to get into some spoilers for Invincible Season 2. So, if you're not all caught up, get your butt home, binge watch all the episodes of Season 2. They're all up there. Binge watch them. Then come on back and watch this video. And if you want to know what I personally think of Season 2, I have a spoiler-free video on it. And, you know, I can leave a link in the, in the description. So, here we go. That's your warning. Go watch the episodes. Get out of here. I'm going to be talking about some spoilers. Now, where do I begin? There is a lot to unpack here. <laughs> Man, what in the fuck? <laughs> From, I mean, I think it's, we can immediately start with um, the return of Omni-Man. Like where he had one of the Thraxans, you know, like on the, on the, the planet Thraxa, I think that's the name of it. To go get Mark, get him to come to the planet, and then help them, like um, with some some danger that is brought upon them. And then we find out that uh, Nolan is there, and then, you know, and then Mark finds out that not only is he there, but he now has a stepmom. <laughs> Um, and Dressa, and then he has a baby brother. And they eventually name him Oliver. And <laughs> that is insane. But back, okay, I have to go back to how in the first episode, like where they would um, make you think they're going to go to the title card, but they keep fooling you and fooling you and fooling you and fooling you until they finally to the, get to the very end, to the very end. That is hilarious. And, and and another hilarious way of how they get to the title card is in the mid-season finale, like where Mark finds out that he has a baby brother and then it cuts to the title card. And he's like, you gotta be, and then it cuts to the title card. And then we cut back to him, like, he's not gonna say you gotta be invincible. And then we finish, they finish his whole sentence where when it cuts back to him, he says, fucking kidding me. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> And then we get to where uh, Viltrumites, the Empire, found Nolan. They're attacking the uh, the Thraxans. Many are dead and many are in bad shape and um, invincible. And uh, Omni-Man, well, we call him Nolan now. Like, um, they do the best they can to uh, stop these two Viltrumites. Um, I think Fala, I, I hope I pronounced her name wrong. Or pff, wrong. I hope I pronounced her, I pronounced her name right. And then we have another Viltrumite, uh other two, like there's uh Lucan and then there's uh Vidar, I think that's his name. And then, you know, they have they have to fight you know, like those three. And then I think Lucan's still alive, but the other two, I don't think they are. <laughs> and then we be we never introduced to General Krieg. Man. Looking at him, it just hit me when I saw him on the show. Like, okay, he remind I get a little bit of Sinestro vibes. I mean, like he kind of looks like Sinestro, but that I mean, I think that's pretty cool. So he gives Mark a warning that if you don't take over Earth, then we're gonna kill millions. If you don't kill a few to get people lined up, like that is crazy. And then we have to wait a few months for it to come back. And then we come back, and then we see that those sequids are about to, you know, like take, well, they take, about to, blah, 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 blah. there's a lot to unpack here. I'm sorry, my brain just froze for a minute there. Like, they're about to invade Earth and whatnot. Like, you know, like the Guardians go up there to try and stop them before they come to Earth. And I love that little uh, Star Trek reference that Robot made, like where, um, like, is there any weapons on this ship? And he's like, this isn't Star Trek. And that's hilarious because Zachary Quinto was in, you know, like, um, a few of the Star Trek reboot movies from, like, in, in their uh, late, early, two, like, in the late 2000s. So that was pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know, like, I bet that, that was very fucking hilarious. And, wow. And, and, Anissa, when she arrived, I was like, holy fuck, holy fuck. If you read the comics, the, 
Do it at your own risk if you want to know. If you really want to know, brace yourself. Proceed with caution. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. And with that reason alone, that's why I was just like, uh, are they going to go there yet? Or is, I mean, that happens later, right? You know, like, I'm not, oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So it was fun to see her her introduction into like um in her in the episode that she appeared in and then we get to the holy balls to the walls finale with angstrom levy who was who was introduced in the season premiere and he's like okay he has good intentions he wants to do this good thing that can save the world and whatnot or whatever then he gets the more he gets the more twins not only does he get the Mauer twins, but he gets them from other dimensions, like goes across the multiverse. Okay, other doppelgangers, other malt, other Mauer twins in other dimensions. They all help him. And then when that goes completely wrong, and he has the memories of every Angstrom Levy in other dimensions, and then that just makes, he goes mad. He goes extremely mad. And now we get to hear where he, he's a complete asshole. A complete asshole. Like, that shit does not justify you attacking Debbie and little Oliver. Like, seeing them in distress and, you know, like, and little Oliver crying to the top of his lungs. And then Debbie, you know, like, being thrown around and stuff. And, like, you're, and, like, this finale makes you feel the rage that Mark is building up inside. Like, you know, like it's building up and building up. He, he tries to attack, like, in, Invincible tries to attack him, and then he opens a portal and then he flies through it, ends up, even gets to where he almost attacks his mother when he opens the portal back to his own world. Like, what in the actual fuck? And then when it finally gets to where Mark is getting, giving him the beat down, I mean, Angstrom, I mean, Levy gets the upper hand on him. Like, yeah, not only did they fix me up, but they improved my body. They improved my strength. And then <laughs> hitting him around, hitting him around, hitting him around before we, before I get to that. Now, in other dimensions that Invincible ends up in, like, he ends up in some familiar worlds, one of which is where we see Batman. <laughs> we, have, we see a brief conversation with him talking to Batman and saying how his name is lazy. <laughs> then we see like in the, in a part of a spider of a spider verse in the spider verse where we see like another a version of Doc Ock and a version of Spider-Man. So that was pretty cool to watch and then where it brings down the tension where you're like, "Oh shit, what's going to happen? What's going to happen?" And then he goes to a portal like, "Oh wait, he Spider-Man?" Uh, a, a version of Spider-Man and a version of Doc Ock. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. We bring the tension down and then we cut back to uh, Mark's world. Then the tension comes right right back up. And then it goes way -hoo 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 -hoo, through the roof. Man. And then when it gets to where Mark is pushed over his limit. Like where he's just pushed over that edge. Where he's just like, okay, fuck it. You I'm going to let loose. I mean, like, I've been holding back. I'm not going to hold back. And then he gives him that beatdown that he got in the season one finale by Omni-Man. And, whoo, man. Like, Mark was pushed to take a life for the first time in his life. He took somebody's life. I mean, like, I don't, I don't feel bad for Angstrom Weavy. <laughs> I don't feel bad for him. He put himself in that position. He kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, just harassing the only good invincible Mark Grayson in the, in the multiple dimensions where there's, I guess, so many evil ones. Where you see them doing fucked up shit. Okay, that drove you crazy, but still, I don't feel bad for you, bro. <laughs> I don't feel bad for you. But I do feel bad for Mark because it gets under his skin deeply. And then it goes to make you make you wonder, as he's wondering, am I more more Viltrumite than I am human? Is this my nature now? Like, I gotta work on, you know, like keeping this under control. 
I gotta work on that. And they leave that on basically a sad note for Mark, where we had the breakup with Amber, and then this happens. His mother almost got killed, his brother almost got killed, and dang. And then we get, you know, that little moment where the future, like the Guardians of the Globe from the future, like I guess 20 or 30 years later, they uh, help Mark get back to his world. I was afraid they were going to end it with him being trapped where he was at, where he's trapped there and he has no way to get back and, we're, and we're, he's not going to get back until at some point in season three. But thankfully that was debunked. Almost like I was afraid that it would end with Mark being in a coma in season one where he wasn't going to wake up until like season two. Thankfully that was debunked. <laughs> and then, you know, they're clearly setting up for um, him and Eve to get up, you know, like end up together. You know, like they're, they hinted at that a couple times. Here, it's hard not to see. Like where the older Eve is saying, well, look, I love you. I, I, I should have told you that. I didn't get a chance to. But um, however you feel, tell, you know, like your Eve, like tell her how you feel. Whatever if it's, if you don't feel this way or if you do feel this way, just tell her how you feel. And you can see that he's becoming open to that. Like, how do I feel about her? And then we're left wondering, how does he feel about her? But comic readers do know where that goes. And I'm looking forward to seeing that play out in the show. I'm looking forward to it. But damn. What a messed up, man. What a sad ending. Like, holy crap. Even though he took out the villain, he took care of the threat, but damn, damn. <laughs> and then we um, begin to set no one on a redemption arc, like in this season. I thought they were going to wait for a bit, but no one's starting to see the error of his ways. And um, now he's in captivity along with Alan, the alien. I mean, it was cool to see him back. And he made us think that they were going to kill him off in episode three. Come on now. Now he's much stronger, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. I think there's going to be a Nolan and Alan team-up or breakout thing in the season premiere. Looks like that's what's going to happen. And then oh, Nolan confesses that he misses uh, his wife, but we know he's talking about Debbie. Yeah, that will be interesting. I, I didn't read every, 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 every issue of the comics, but I know... An, a lot, but there's plenty that I don't know, so it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> and, um, yeah, fucking crazy, fucking crazy. I hope I basically broke down everything that happened. Like, <laughs> and then the meta thing, like with the comic, like the comic book writer or whatever, of um, Mark's favorite comic book, and he's like, Oh, when's season two happening? Like, they're throwing shade at us for waiting. <laughs> like, I mean, I get it. They did this in the comics, and so it's sort of like they predicted that this would happen. Where it's like, when is it going to happen? Well, it's, animation takes a long time. And they point out stuff that I didn't notice in the show. And I'm like, no, I can't unsee it. Uh, <laughs> I can't unsee it. But what... It's, oh, like what an awesome second season I'm looking forward to season 2 uh, blah, 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 season 2 season 3 I'm looking so forward to it and I can't wait to see like where I think Conquest is going to be there and there's going to be the, the the Invincible War I feel like that's going to happen and then we get a little hint of whew, we get a little hint of Thrag at the end of season 3 that's just my prediction I'm sure there's going to be plenty of curveballs that they're going to throw at us when Season 3 arrives. But until then, we get to marinate Season 2. Oh, shit. Fuck. Ah, <sighs> Feel free to tell me how you guys are holding up. I'm going to assume that you're all caught up. And if you're not, and you just decide fuck it i just want to hear what you say i want to hear the spoilers before i see the episodes what is wrong with you what is wrong with you <laughs> i'm gonna be optimistic and, and say that okay you've seen the episodes and then you jump to this video but yeah those are my thoughts on the spoilers of season two of invincible <sighs> now feel free to leave your comments 
And if you like this video, make sure you thumb it up and click subscribe and click that notification bell so you can stay up to speed on my latest videos. Thank you for watching as always. And um, hang in there. I don't think we got to wait as long for season three. So fingers crossed regardless. So I don't know, guys. Yeah, you guys take care and I'll see you guys. Man, <laughs> my brain scrambled. My brain is scrambled. That's a compliment, but <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, get, get going. So you guys take care. So until then, peace out.